Hello security tubers. Uh, sorry for being offline for such a long time. I haven't been posting any new videos uh, lately uh, because I've been quite busy with my work. But however, all this is going to change. Uh, so I'm going to be posting more regularly and more interesting videos. So just wanted to start with the first one. Uh, I actually found this utility called Maltrap uh, on Twitter today. So somebody posted a tweet and we'll be showing a quick demonstration of what Maltrap is and how it works. So Maltrap can be downloaded from maltrap.com and basically what it is, is a utility which monitors the various API calls which are made by an executable. And then it goes ahead and logs those results so that a researcher can actually look at what API calls were made by an executable. So let me show you a quick demo. Let's run Maltrap. So uh, this is actually, I think, an alpha release. Uh, so we do not have many options, uh, but it's very simple to use it. So let's actually first go ahead and use it on, let's say, uh, real VNC. So let me actually go ahead and say that I want to monitor the winvnc4.exe file. Let's inject. So what is happening now is basically that Maltrap has created an environment where using API hooking, it is able to see the API calls which VNC server program is actually making. And it is actually monitoring all those calls and you know giving us some output about what were those API calls. So as we can see, load library, is debugger present, so on and so forth. Right, so we see a lot of uh, you know entries here which deal with registries, right? So let's scroll down. Uh, still registry stuff. I'll show you something interesting. Okay, so if you notice right here, when VNC is creating a socket, right, and then going ahead and binding to that socket and listening to that socket. So if you notice. There is a call to the socket API and this actually returns, you know, a descriptor of value 750. And then this descriptor is now being used here as input to bind and WinVNC is binding to port number 5900, right? And then it's listening to that socket. So, you know, here is an example of how we could very easily chalk out exactly how WinVNC is binding to an interface and to a specific port, right? Uh, then after that, of course, you know, there are a lot of API calls happening over and over again. Let's go ahead and exit the program. Once that happens, if we scroll down, we'll actually see that exit process actually happened, right? So using this very simple utility, it's possible to monitor executables and see what uh, API calls they are making. Let's take another example. Uh, let's go ahead and start Maltrap again. And this time, let's actually go ahead and use Winamp. So I think Winamp.exe is the file. Let's inject. The moment we do this, uh, you know, Maltrap starts monitoring all the API calls which are being made. Okay, so let's go ahead, close this, minimize this. So if you notice now, uh, there are a lot of API calls which are happening, right? And many of them are uh, with respect to the registry. A pipe was created here, right? Create file W, so you can see here. Uh, so, you know, this allows us to peek uh, into exactly what the program is doing. Now, in general, you know, when you do malware analysis and all, you might be interested about what is it exactly doing over the network. One way, as we have seen in previous videos, is actually to open up Wireshark and look at the data which is being transferred. The other way, uh, of course, could be, you know, actually using something powerful such as IDA Pro and looking at, you know, the exact program flow and what is happening at execution. Uh, however, Maltrap gives you a sneak peek 
under the hood. So let's actually scroll down and let's try and uh, you know let's go ahead and exit Winamp actually so that don't get more messages and then let's look at uh, whether any network calls were made. Uh, I think probably an easier way to search would be actually to save this dump first. Let's call it API dump and open this file and probably quickly search for socket. Okay, so we have a socket call here. Uh, and as we can see, right, a UDP socket was created. So we could actually use this socket number and kind of trace it along to see what really happened. Anyway, uh, quick demo, so I'm just trying to look at what else was sent. So there's an HTTP send request uh, where, you know, Winamp is actually going and trying to send something. Let's scroll down, scroll down. Okay, so now if you notice, we have another socket call here. Another socket call here, there is a bind which is happening and there is a connect which is happening to a remote server. So I suspect that probably this is the Winamp server uh, and you know there is something being sent as well. So if you notice then there is a WSA receive, there is a send here and this is the request. So the beauty about Maltrap is that it seems to be dumping the data which was being sent using the send API. Now this is just great because uh, if you notice we can exactly see the URL which was called. We can see the cookie and a lot of other things as well. So WSA receive, WSA is nothing but, you know, the Winsta Winsock, uh, you know, library doing a receive basically on the socket. Again, there is a send. Let's scroll down, a lot of registry stuff happening here. And if you notice internet read file, this is another interesting call. Some data is being read. It looks like it's binary data or in some proprietary format which Winamp might be sending. And okay, there are other requests here as well. Uh, HTTP open request, you know, get resource. This seems to be the URL. A JavaScript file is actually being loaded. So anyway, uh, here's another, right? There's a get request and this is the request. So the basic point which I wanted to make uh, is that using Maltrap, uh, you know, one is able to really look under the hood of what's happening in an EXE. And this can come in very handy when you're auditing malware. Probably in a later example, I'll take a live malware and look at, you know, whether we can figure out what it is doing simply using malware. Uh, that's all for this video. I'll close this with a couple of recommendations for the malware authors. Uh, first is, could be really great if you could probably make malware open source simply because you know other people would be interested in contributing as well it's it's a really awesome tool and you know i'm sure it's going to come in handy for a lot of researchers and enthusiasts uh, the other thing is probably to make you know a couple of more options a search option uh, and a way to probably trap only certain api calls and not everything right and of course you know a couple of other options as well but you know however given that this is the alpha release Absolutely awesome, uh, probably in the right direction. And I wish these guys all the best and hopefully when they come out with a new version, we'll do another evaluation. Well, that's all for this video. Please leave your comments behind. If you found another tool such as Maltrap, please leave a link behind in the comment section. And uh, you know, hope to talk to you soon in the next video. That's all, bye-bye, thank you.